Hello everyone, James here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be doing a commentary style tips and guides to slay the Thunder Serpent Narwa. I already prepared compiling my clips and just need to give my input. Spoiler warning, if you haven't finished the story, please stop watching, like right now. So let's begin. So start off first with giving yourself buffs. In my case, I only did the attack buffs. So first grab the first wire bug and then do a counter or throw a flash bomb so you can get through that uh, RAR. So this is the first kind of attack that you'll see. This leaves her head and belly sack exposed for attacks. So you'd want to hit that belly sack as much as possible. Here's another perspective from a blade master, particularly the insect glaive. It will also do this donut punch. And it will also do that ball blast from its mouth. Here's another donut punch. And then the, do the ball blast from its mouth. So if you do enough damage to the head in this early stage, you will be able to knock it down, giving you free hits to its belly sack. Here I want to call this the belly laser. Uh, it's a fairly easy attack to dodge. Here's another one if you're behind it. It's a very big opening so try to stay behind it at this point. And then here's another attack that you can't really see well because I avoided it by hiding under the rocks. But it shoots these very thin electric projectiles. Here you can also see it do a tail slap on the ground. Um, it, th this particular attack gives an opening to its belly again. So when you see it go to the center and curl up as a ball, uh, that's a sign that you're moving to phase 2. So you want to go to the splitting wyvern shot right here in the right side of the map or left side of the map rather. Then be careful because right after that whoever shot the splitting wyvern shot uh, will get the aggro for sure. Then here's a charged donut punch. Here, there are five spots that glow that you should attack. Whenever you break apart, you stutter Narwa and have a chance to knock it down. So follow this priority for breaking. The head, the chest, the arms, then the tail. I call this attack the Triple Donut Bomb. The safe zones are away from her or directly under her. Here it is again. You just have to try to target those glowing parts again, as I mentioned. And if you do enough damage, you'll stutter it and it will cancel that attack. Here's another new attack that it gets from phase two. I call this one the spinning belly laser. Best to use this time to replenish your health, replenish your ammo or sharpen your weapon. Or you can jump up at the platform and use the ballista or machine gun.
Okay, this is a new attack. I call this the charge particle beam, like that from Zoids. So she does a charge and blasts down the ground going upwards. Please do note that the ground also explodes. A big misconception is that you should always aim for the head, but when you're actually supposed to hit um, those glowing parts. So, she does this attack again, but now it fires off some lightning pillars. When you hit a certain amount of damage on the belly sack and hit its threshold, you'll actually get a free 1000 damage. So that's not a really common attack, the tail whip, but it's something to note about. It, it doesn't really hurt that much, but it tries to offset. So you see me actually breaking the tail and all the five parts that I mentioned are broken. So it's a sure fall for Narwa. Again, try to aim for the belly sack as that's the weakest spot among all the parts. Okay, now you see it go to the center, that means it's time for phase 3. So you'll get a notification also that the Dragonator is ready, so that's the sign that you have to get ready for phase 3. As much as possible, try to avoid those rings. You can either uh, Superman dive or just move away from it, run away. Okay, now to phase 3. So before you continue, try to buff up yourself, uh, replenish your health, do your sharpening, because you have quite a big opening here. So after the shout, you'll go up in a platform. If you see that uh, there's a crack platform there, you might want to stand nearby it and you'll automatically go up with a platform. So there's four scenarios here. One, Narwhal will go towards you, so you ha you'd have to run away from your platform. A second situation is you hit it with a cannon, but you fail to cancel its attack. So the best way to avoid it first is to hide under the platform. And then the second wave of attack, you have to jump up either on the platform or just hold your wire bug, and you should be able to avoid that attack. So the first scenario if you actually get to shoot the cannon is the cannon will fall apart right away. Here's another situation where when you shoot the cannon and Narwa falls, you can actually still continue to use the cannon, dealing much more damage than you would normally do. So this is the best case scenario in this situation. If you're trying to do a speed run or try, trying to aim for more damage, this is the best situation you can get. Then here's a new attack. I call this the Thundermine where it will do a slight charge on the ground and then the floor will explode. Here it is again. Uh, one of the tells for this is it's glowing gold on its arm and its uh, head. 
there. And here it is again. So the best way to avoid this is to jump up with your wire bug or you run to the side. Then here's a new attack. I call this the side swipe beam. You'll get to tell whether it's doing this attack when it's facing the side and not doing anything like this. So the best way to avoid this is to either wire bug upwards or hide behind the platform. This one, I don't know what to call this. I'll maybe just call this like a super donut rush where its orbs transform into donuts and try to hit you. Here it is again. I think the best way to avoid this is to just run in the side. Now that dash attack has additional donuts with it. Belly beam will also do consecutive rows of attack, so you have to avoid it twice. With my bowgun, you can see how I avoided it. It's, it's relatively easy to dodge. Now the spinning belly laser will uh, also come with additional donuts, so you might want to avoid that. If you're in a platform using a ballista or machine gun, you might have to use the shields from time to time. I actually advise you to use the machine guns and the ballistas, but uh, I, I always mess up and I barely get to use it, so I don't use it anymore. So there you have it. So the best tip I can give you is try to remember all the tips I'm giving and try to, try to remember all the tells. The best way to hunt this monster is to keep hunting it and then you'll eventually get used to it. So what did you think about my guide? Did this help you? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you like my video and you want to see more, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Catch you in my next hunts.